What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness, you guys know what time it is. So in this video, we're gonna talk about um, judo versus sambo. What are the differences and is, is sambo uh, essentially Russian judo? So instead of doing my own research, which I did a little bit of, but what I did better is that I uh, reached out to one of my buddies on uh, on Facebook, uh, Vladislav uh, Kulikov. He helped me out a lot with that. Um, he explained to me the major differences um, and commonalities and the misconceptions and the philosophies. Really, really interesting stuff, so guys. There's two founders, uh, Victor and Vasily. One of the guys, Vasily, there's, there's Victor and there's Vasily. Now, Vasily trained in Japan under Kano for several years. That's where the judo influence comes from. Uh, philosophical, philosophical differences. Judo, what they tend to do is they take the athlete and then they, they, they make them adapt to, to the techniques. Okay, whereas Sambo, it's the other way around. So they'll take, um, they'll take the technique and adapt it to the athlete. And one of the reasons for this is because in Japan, it's more um, based on Confucianism and it's more dogmatic. So, you know, they're more like this is the way it's done and, you know, just, just get it done that way. So, and me, uh, I did go to Japan like three times, and yeah. <laughs> pretty tight, pretty tight. Sambo has a lot of folk style wrestling influence, okay? Uh, so Chinese wrestling, Mongolian wrestling, Georgian wrestling. There's a lot of similarities between Sambo and Judo, but I mean, there's a lot of wrestling uh, base in, in Sambo also. Sambo grips are actually unrestricted. So you can literally grip anything and any way you can imagine, except the belt tassel and uh, what was that thing? And the skirt of the jacket, which is useless anyway because the belts are, are inside loops. Because on a, on a sambo jacket, you got loops, right? To, to put your belt through. So pointless anyway. It's cool, it's fun, you have a lot more options in regards to that. Whereas judo, it's very limited, very, very limited. I don't wanna get into the details of it in this video, but man, it's like they, they keep on changing the rules. Sambo, uh, they ban chokes, but not leg locks. But in judo, it's the opposite. They ban leg locks, but they allow chokes. But maybe one of you guys know. So if you guys know, you know, down below, right? In sambo, you probably throw the guy and the more throws you have, the more like you accumulate the points and all, and then at one point you win kind of thing right? Because it's more like, uh, it has more to do with points. There's no epon, so to speak. There is a type of epon, but I mean, for the most part, it doesn't really happen. So I think it has to do more with how many throws that you've executed. So, so for example, that would be the, the quantity aspect of it. And for judo, I understand perfectly because, because that's my sport. Uh, if you score an epon, it's over. So epon is when you throw the person, with, uh, with you initiate the throw and with enough force and two shoulders hit the ground, either at the same time or one after the other, like left shoulder, right shoulder, or right shoulder, left shoulder, boom, it's done, it's over. That's why in judo, like when you see it in, in competition, they throw the guy, but then they roll over him because they just want to make sure to like roll over and make him touch his other shoulder, uh, you know, on the, uh, on the mat, right? So that's it for this video. I hope that made sense. And we're talking about not, uh, not combat sambo, but sports sambo, okay? Where there's no punching and, and uh, punching and kicking. There's just, you know, you going at it and, uh, you know, throwing the guy and submitting the guy on the ground. And if you have any questions, comments down below, guys. And uh, hey, don't forget to share the video, help me grow the channel. That's it, guys. Love you, peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.